y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new hi my name is Alyssa and for today's video we are gonna be doing my July product empties you guys already know the drill I'm just gonna be talking about the things that I have used up this month and whether or not I would repurchase them kind of give you all the tea on the products I really hope that you guys are excited and without further ado let's just go ahead and get started okay you guys first things first we do have a couple of candles I feel like it's been a minute has it truly been a minute I can't remember but either way Ooh, first things first, I have this pineapple mango candle. You guys know they're always going to be Bath and Body Works candles. I love this one so much. You guys, if you've been watching any of my hauls or my product empties, pineapple mango has been a scent that we have been really enjoying here in my household. So the notes on this one were fresh pineapple juice, mango, and vine ripened raspberry. This is a wonderful candle. Just to go ahead and go ahead and mention it now, we did finish up another pineapple mango hand soap. You guys know the foaming hand soaps are my fave. I would definitely repurchase both of these products again. The candle adds as well as the hand soap. I love the scent. I think it's perfect for summer. It's not overly sweet, which I really, really enjoy. So both of these products were great this month in my house and we would definitely, definitely repurchase this scent in those two items. The other candle that we did finish up was Cranberry Pear Bellini. Um, I don't know if this was more of like a somewhat Christmassy scent. I think so. This one didn't burn as nicely. We've had a few that have not burned as great there at the end, but it is what it is. If you guys know of like any good kind of cheap like wax warmers that we could almost take the wax out of these candles and finish them using them in a wax warmer, let me know. Uh, pop me a link down below or shoot me a DM because I think that would be a good way to finish using this stuff up, especially when you have a candle that doesn't burn as well. But I don't know if like these are meant to be used that way, if that makes sense. So let me know if you know anything about that or if you do that yourself. That would really help you girl out because I hate to waste so much candle wax, especially when we really enjoy the scent. So spoiler alert, we really did enjoy this scent. The notes on this one were fizzy pear nectar, sparkling red cranberries, lush apricot, and tart black currant. It's really nice. I would consider this somewhat of like a folly esque scent kind of. It has that somewhat warm Christmassy undertone with what I think is supposed to be the cranberries. I don't know why we burned it here in the spring, but we obviously didn't care when we burned it. It did smell really good. This would definitely be a scent that I would not mind burning again. I really did enjoy it. And of course, packaging on that is super stinking cute. Get a little up close so you guys can see. But look at that. Adorable. Love how it's like a little, um, what do you call that? Martini glass? There it is. Gosh, I'm a brain fart. And then with all the sparkles, it's adorable. All right, so now we're going to move on to like body care and like skincare kind of things. This is the first thing I'm going to talk about. This is this Taroko Naturals. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, hydrating hand cream in this scent, Sicilian blood oranges and sandalwood. This is what it looks like right here. And I'm pretty sure I got this in like a single swag box or something like that. I can't remember. I've had it a while. It's actually not completely empty. I just don't enjoy this scent. Um, it has more of like a natural, it kind of reminds me of like those who are into like, I don't know how to describe it, uh, like herbs and things like that. I don't know. It's not a scent that I really enjoy. And for a while I used it as like a foot cream because to be honest, I didn't want it on my hands where it was like close to my face and I didn't want it on my body. But I just don't enjoy the scent so much that I just stopped using it all the way around. It's just not my vibe. I don't really care for it. And so I'm just going to go ahead and get it out of my bathroom because honestly, you guys, I'm tired of looking at it to be real with you. So not something that I would buy on my own or again, it's just not a scent that I'm a fan of. You guys know I love more like coconutty or like pepperminty-esque scents for myself. So it's just not in my realm of fragrance. Speaking of a scent though that I did like, I finished up my giant container of my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I bought this probably I think last year or so. Uh, at the Sephora sale, they put out this big tub. It is a great, great deal because the smaller, like normal size containers are like $45. This runs you less than two of those and it's more than two of those if that makes sense. So I bought a big one of these. I'm pretty sure I bought it during the Sephora sale as well. So I got a really great deal on it. It's a giant container. It lasts me forever. And the way that I use this, because honestly, 
once you dip into this, the container's so large, like dunking your hand into it is not fun, is that I use the normal size container and then as I used it up, I would just dump the lotion from this one into a normal size container so I could continue to get all the stuff out of it. The cutest thing about it is it does come with this like little surfboard spatula and that's what I would like scrape the sides out with and everything by the time I got to the bottom. And so yeah, I, you guys know I love this. I will continue to repurchase this. There is nothing that I love more than this particular lotion. So I think this is a great bang for your buck. When I run out of more of the lotions that I have, I'll probably end up repurchasing another big one, but I love that lotion. You guys know this. It's nothing new here on my channel. All right, so I did finish up a facial moisturizer. This is the Espa 24 hour balancing moisturizer. It says it's an oil balancing moisturizer to help hydrate and clarify. This is what it looks like for those of you who maybe do not know. And I did receive this in my Look Fantastic box last year. And I got it right when my Philosophy Moisturizer ran out and then they stopped making it. But it was before the Pharmacy Moisturizer I had been wanting to try came in. So I just started using it because I was like, I can't go weeks without using a facial moisturizer. Like my skin will freak out. So I'm not sure how much this costs because I did not buy it, but I'll write it on the screen. I don't know why, but for some reason it feels like it's kind of expensive. Um, I will say uh, my skin did react kind of funny to it to begin with, but then again, this was the first facial moisturizer that I had used um, after I had been using my Philosophy moisturizer for forever. So I knew my skin was gonna kind of freak out. It very much got used to it. My skin seemed to really like it. Um, it does have a really heavy scent to it. It smells clean, but it's very heavy and very strong. So if you don't like strong scents or you're sensitive to that, I don't think you'll like it. Um, and it was a gel moisturizer. It lasted months, you guys. It went a long way. A little really went a long way with this. Um, the only thing I didn't really like about it was the fact that it kind of had like a sunscreeny feel to it, meaning that it felt like it really took a few extra minutes to like sink into the skin and at first it felt kind of thick. Once it sunk in, it was fine, no problems, but it was a different feeling versus the philosophy one that I had been using for forever. And then now I'm currently using the pharmacy green clean one that I had been wanting to try, like I mentioned. And so it has a different gel like consistency versus the philosophy and the pharmacy one. It's kind of weird to explain. I got used to it. I don't mind it. To be honest with you, I don't know that I would purchase it again. Um, well, I didn't purchase it the first time, but if I would purchase it with my own money. And I say that because I'm interested to see how my skin continues to do with the Pharmacy Green Clean. Obviously, when I switched from this to the Pharmacy Green Clean, I did have a few days where my skin wanted to break out because of course, it is a totally new product that I had not been using. Um, but my skin seems to be doing really good right now. And I think that right now I prefer the texture of the Pharmacy one over this one, but I think I'll just have to see how my skin goes because my skin, once it got used to it, really enjoyed the moisturizer. I just don't know that I personally loved using it, if that makes sense. So it's not a bad one. I would love to know if you guys have tried this, what you think of it. And I don't know how hard it is to get, to be honest. So I need to do a little bit of research on it because I'm not sure, you know, since it was sent to me, if it's something that is very easily accessible to me currently. But it wasn't bad. It just not necessarily one of my favorite products to use, if that makes sense. I did finish up a little mini sample of the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. You guys know I love this stuff. I think it is absolutely phenomenal. Prior to this, I used to love the Clinique Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm, but this one is 10 times better than that one, you guys. It does not leave your skin feeling oily or like it has a layer of anything on it. Obviously, I use this and then I wash my face, but I'm not gonna lie, there have been days where like today, I filmed a video I have a lot of makeup on and then I'm gonna go lay by the pool so honestly there are some days like I've literally just used this and then gone outside to go swimming and my skin doesn't feel gross or like there's product build up on it it gets all the makeup off it's an absolutely phenomenal product and if for some reason you have not tried it you definitely need to I will continue to repurchase that product tenfold because I think it is that that good I have not tried anything else that beats that out for me just yet 
I did use one of my Starry Eyes Self Warming Eye Masks. You guys know I love these if you've been here for a while. I think these are absolutely phenomenal. They are so nice for a little treat yourself. I love to use them when I'm laying in bed, maybe listening to a podcast, candle burning or something. Um, they're really nice. I don't know the magic in them. I think they're great and I highly, highly recommend them. I actually will continue to repurchase those when I run out of all the ones that I have because they are one of my favorite masks to use even though they don't provide like any crazy skincare benefits. They just feel nice. It's a wonderful experience overall. I finally finished up these Peach Slices Deep Blemish Micro Darts. Oh my God, you guys, I hated these. These are useless, okay? So I love the original Peach Slices, just regular acne spot dots, whatever they're called. And this is supposed to be ones that are for like those really deep under the skin bumps that like have not come through. There's no head, there's no nothing. The ones that are sore, you guys know what I'm talking about. I had a huge one on my cheek the other day and it was just, oh my God, it was terrible. You guys know the ones I'm talking about. Any time that I would use one of these, these did absolutely nothing for me. First of all, you only get nine in here and they're so expensive for nine. So you really expect them to do the work. Obviously they do last a while because you only use these on specific bumps, but they don't do squat diddly. They do have like, if you can see here on the packaging, like I hope you're gonna be able to make it out, but on the patch, unlike it being smooth, like a regular just acne spot dot, these did have like almost little, they call them like micro darts, I guess. Um, and that's supposed to help push the product like deep into the skin to penetrate it, to relieve, you know, any redness, to help the zit go down and things like that. But it didn't do squat. Like it really was a waste of my time, a waste of my money. And I highly do not recommend these. I will not be purchasing it again. And I don't think you should waste your money on them either. There are way better acne spot dots out there that actually are cheaper and come with way more in the pack. I will link some alternatives down below for you guys as well. I finished up one of my Frank Body Body Scrubs. This is the Coconut Coffee Scrub. It says glowing vacation skin is inside this bag. Um, I've talked about Frank Body Coffee Scrubs here on my channel before. Um, I've used the original regular one um, before. This, like I said, is the Coconut Coffee Scrub. I enjoy the coffee scrubs because they do feel like they actually are really exfoliating the skin. I've used quite a few um, exfoliators in the past that really just almost felt like you're washing your body and it's not doing anything, it's a waste of time. Um, so I really do enjoy the Frank Body Scrubs. They are very, 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 very messy, so do be prepared. Moving right on along, I have a mascara in here. This is just the Laura Geller New York mascara. It doesn't have any sort of crazy name on it. I can't remember how I got this or why I got this and it's not actually all the way used up, but I hate this mascara so freaking much, you guys. It is so clumpy and so flaky and just so gross and it just, I don't like it. I've tried to use it numerous times and there's just nothing like this bad boy wanting to drop its little flakes all over my face after I've done my makeup. It's very irritating. I did finish up my little mini Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, the Set and Refresh Spray. This is okay. As you guys know, I'm currently using up a big one of the um, So Chill Coconut Primer Water, which is literally this exact thing, except it smells coconutty. Um, the well, priming water, it's okay. You know, I have setting sprays that I like way better than this. I do not use it as a primer. I do not spray it on my skin before I do my makeup. That's just not my jam. As someone with oily skin, I highly rely on my pore filling, mattifying primers. And so this is just not something I would use as a primer in general. As a setting spray, it is decent, um, but it's not like my favorite thing I've ever used. So it's not that I don't recommend it. It's just different things work for different skin. Just a couple more things now. So these are not really like a, I finished them up. I'm just, I don't like them and I'm not gonna be using. And it is the Tati Beauty. I don't even remember what the heck and bob these were called, but her little face, spongy doodads. I literally didn't even use two of them. Um, I bought two of each. I don't know why in the name of the good Lord I did that because I definitely did not need them. Um, but yeah, uh, these are crap. I did a whole review video on them. I can link it for you guys if you want to see it to see my original thoughts and opinions. I literally used it and you can see this is like the one I used that like all the color didn't come out on but like it is clean or whatever. Um, so I used it in the video and I think I used it like once or twice after that to try and give it a second chance. But I just, I don't think these are worth 
anything at all. I definitely prefer my normal face sponge. I don't know if it's my skin type or they're just the way I like to do makeup, but there's just something about the fact that you were supposed to use these for all types of your product instead of using your hands. So you're supposed to be able to use it for primer, foundation, all liquid products. You're supposed to be able to put powders on with it. And there was just something about the fact that I am not gonna do that <laughs> with this product. And I don't like the fuzzy texture of it. I don't feel like it worked for me. And honestly, I just think this is a very large gimmick. So I'm gonna just be tossing those because they've been sitting in my drawer for, gosh, well over a year now because it's been more than that since she launched them. I bought them when they launched. And yeah, I just, I don't think they are worth literally anything. You guys know I love using um, Morphe sponges and like, you know, beauty blender type items for my makeup. And so that's just absolutely a no-go from me. The last thing I have to show you is super random, but it's a pair of sunglasses that finally, as you can see, kicked the bucket on me. These are a pair of the Key sunglasses. This was from their collab with Crispy here on YouTube. I'm pretty sure these were called jet set and if I'm wrong I'll correct myself here on the screen um, these honestly to be fair with you guys I love key sunglasses you guys know this I have a ton I have a full video on my entire sunglass collection and I will link that up there for you guys if you guys want to see that if you're interested in knowing like what my style is and what I own I have all the products linked for you guys in that video so you can totally check it out um, but these to be honest with you guys out of all the key sunglasses that I have and I had a few from her collab I have a bunch from Desi's collab and I have a bunch from the website just in general. These were the worst pair of key sunglasses that I have ever had. I don't know if it was just kind of the design of them. I don't think I did anything to them, but as you can see, so the reason I'm obviously having to let them go is because, hold on, let me see if they'll focus away from me, is because this piece down here, like, even over here, you can see that it's cracking. This is the part that broke yesterday. But like this was just not constructed good. And even from the beginning when I wore them, I noticed that like, I don't know if it was the heat or what, but these like bottom areas of this rubber just weren't doing well. So I didn't really wear them off. I just wore them out by the pool and stuff like that. And they've just finally, they've seen better days. So I just don't think these were constructed really well. I loved the way they looked. I thought they were so stinking cute, like for just a reference. They're dirty because I was wearing them in the pool yesterday when they broke. But, like, I love the way they looked. I love that they were just super big. They're super fun. Um, just like I said, by the pool, just kind of hanging out. It, these aren't ones that I would, like, wear off out in public, per se. That's just not the style. But I love these for by the pool. I love that they were reflective. You can't see through them. They're just super fun. Um, but, yeah, they were the most poorly constructed pair of key sunglasses that I have ever had. And now since they've broken, since I still have quite a few pairs of ones that I just kind of consider my like pool and beach sunglasses, I'm just going to toss them. But yeah, you guys, that is all for this month's product empties. I really hope that you enjoyed watching. As always, let me know your thoughts and opinions on anything that I mentioned in this video. I really hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me today. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.